Hey, what's up, man? So, I'm going to wait for some more people to show up, as usual. Alright, so what's up, everyone? I'm going to wait for more people to stream in. And I have no idea what's going to happen today. Hello, Evil Fear. And Dan, the guy who wins everything in the world. From from what I've noticed. (sighs) 
Hello, Cosmodrome. Um, so, I have no idea what's going to happen today. No idea. But, we're doing a little thing. So a lot of people have asked, if you guys watch the video game series and everything, and people will ask to see my um, like process. But that might be boring to people. Um, so we're doing a social experiment. Dan asks, what are you going to be composed today, game music? Uh, we're going to take suggestions from everyone here in the chat on what we're actually going to compose. And I'm going to be um, a dancing monkey and, and do it all. So, um, like, pick a tempo, um, pick a genre, and a mood. But more specifically than a mood, pick a scene, maybe. Um, something like that. Maybe we start off uh, simple and then go into something more complex. Um, so we have no idea what's going to happen. Theme Adventure RPG. I can do that. That's a fun one. Speaking of which, did you guys all check out the latest episode of Video Game Music? Adventure RPG. Who doesn't like a good adventure RPG? I know I do. Magical Foresty. That's kind of cool. You know what I like for Foresty? Um, Time Macro from Orchestral Tools. Hello. So for anyone just joining, uh, what we're doing is we're doing a social experiment. Basically, we're just having some fun. Uh, I'm going to compose a track, but what I'm going to compose is going to be determined by everyone here. So if you have suggestions, Dan has already said adventure RPG, magical foresty maybe, which I like. I love stuff like that. Um, so yeah, you guys know that, um, you know, I've been doing the video game music series, which I hope you guys have been watching and we have another episode out Friday. And also in that first episode, you know, I, I asked you guys to comment and everything and I do a, um, I do answer all you guys questions in this next episode. Uh, because there's like so many questions and comments. So forest RPG, you know what I really like for forest? I love harps. And I specifically love textures. So I love this instrument right here. It is uh, Time Macro, Orchestral Tools, Harps and Vibes. This instrument here is uh, this patch, so to speak. It's like really, really magical. It just, it's twinkly. Um, so I love to start tracks off, you know, like with sections. I love to have, you know, a soft, quiet intro. We'll just write and see. Playing out good versus bad fairies. Okay. So I really love to have like textures and I love woodwinds, especially for fantasy. Um, I love a good uh, bassoon, oboes and stuff like that. So uh, like I said in the, um, in episode two of the game music, <laughs> elves, like, like I said, in episode two of the game music, if you guys remember, I like to work in sections. So you'll see a little bit of that here. But again, I mean, Obviously, everyone's going to do things differently, so don't uh, just be like, you got to do it one way or the other. One 
second. So I want to adjust the uh, dynamics a bit so it's not screeching at me right away. Hello, hello. So um, we've had some, we've had some new people join. So what we're doing today is composing music based on suggestions that you guys say. So we're doing adventure adventure foresty uh, RPG right now. Video anyone? Okay, cool. Um, if anyone lost video. I don't know. Okay, because w before I even started, someone else said uh, the video is black with a circle. So um, I'm just going to continue. And uh, if any, if you have problems, just chime in. So we're making our intro right now with uh, those vibra the vibes and uh, harp texture. This is what I started with. I think it's really good to start just like with um. I love textures and they add so much. Like you hear those those harps are playing. You know they're just they're plucking. They're making this little um swarm. I mean, if you just used like a harp sustain, <laughs> yeah, the picture that's um it's uh the Joker. I got that at a comic shop, so I start off with a texture here, and then I'm just writing a woodwind line. So I love writing and adding in like half steps and stuff like that. Writing in minor for those, the mysterious fantasy vibe. Right now I'm just writing in C. So you know, let's try to add let's add um some strings too. But again, string textures. Well, if some people are having the video problem, I am not I'm not sure. Some people are, some people aren't. And e it wasn't it was even before we started the live stream when we were testing it, so I'm really not sure about that cuz I'm like seeing the live preview and everything.
<laughs> it's, I just thought the exact same thing. The first four <laughs> bassoon notes. Uh, that is exactly what I just noticed too. And I did not mean to do that. Oh, the strings are a little loud. I just want like a wispy, a wispy string texture. That's too loud. Maybe that. So I want to take that and do it for another, just copy and paste, but only for those backing textures. We're going to keep those the same and add on to the melody because we just don't want the same thing going. Yeah, so I know some of you are having video issues. I don't know exactly what to do about that. So I'm just uh, gluing these, these notes all together. I want a str I want a string a deep string right there to kind of accent the low end right there before it goes to the next measure and don't know if I have the right nope wrong expression map for that a Brahm. So the so the what we're doing right now is a fantasy RPG track, and I'm just going with that. And we're about to get into action part, so I'm finding the right expression map for this century strings. There we go. Let's continue that bassoon. And focus on this second section. Expression map, yeah. Jim Stamper. <laughs> There's like a shitload of comments I'm 
trying to half glance at him. Just know I won't be able to respond as, as much. So I'll talk about that. Just a couple of people asked about it. Um, expression maps are just what I was doing there. You see how I have this articulations are set up, and I I talk about that a little bit in the in episode one of video game music. Uh, it's one of the reasons I love Cubase because, as you know, we have our keyboard here and and we have those um, articulations. So, for instance, articulations are all mapped on, like, the bottom keys of the keyboard. And I don't have an 88-key keyboard, and I don't, you know, so you're, you're playing here, and then you got to switch the octaves on your thing, and everything is going to have a different, uh, you know, key switches. So Spitfire are all the same, but then, like, you go to a different company, and they're all over the place. All expression mapping is is you go in here and expression map you go in here and you can set up things it's really easy so all you do is like you know where everything is is notated is as your key switches so you know c minus two all the way at the very bottom and you set up your exp um, articulations here legato longs and everything like that and then it just it maps it like this so you have this visual feedback constantly about exactly what articulation you're playing. You know, with any other doll, when I used the other ones, like I would always have to scroll all the way down and remember that this is sustained, this is that, this is that, this is that, this is that. It's freaking annoying. Um, so yeah, artic our expression maps is a Cubase thing. I think they have something similar in Logic, but I don't have a Mac, so I don't know. Okay, so we have a really nice subdued intro for our fantasy. Um, now I want to make it really kind of go crazy. <laughs> have our first um, act action. Uh, action piece. What I want is brass, actually. And I want more of those, uh, that s little string arc I had. I'm just going to focus up on this ending part. Oh, 
Okay. So again, go to this on a crescendo. I want a big ass crescendo. I like that. <laughs> My mom keeps writing the melody ahead of you. I I I know what you mean. I'm always writing melodies into songs that don't exist there. Yeah, so since a strong medieval vibe, soft harp arpeggio, we can add that. I also have harps right here in this little texture. But let me make sure harp is turned on in my Vienna. I love harps. So once it gets to that second part. Going off the meter vibe, any sh short fugal like section, flute and clarinet, bassoon all balancing off each other, their own trio in the midst of, a, of beautiful and building textures. Yes. Let me do this. this kind of more subdued I'm just on my other screen I'm opening the harp I'll just use that but keep it keep it low so it's kind of uh, dampened strings to come back here Okay.
going to add a uh, symbol swell. No, not yet. Okay, I want to I want to start with strings in the next part. So we're doing a fantasy action. And if you want to do a really nice uh, fantasy vibe, I love, oh, let me open it up first. I love solo horns, which I don't think I have enabled. Turning that on. For sake of time, I might just double the bassoon line with the horns. But I wouldn't normally do that. Now it really sounds like Star Wars, right? Don't know if I go. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's so Star Wars. <laughs> That's funny. Now let's do the clarinet like someone suggested. Hear how that release got cut off unless I go over there and just click a key. Excuse me. What orchestra I'm using? I'm using a lot of different stuff here, um, but the the main bulk of it is the um, excuse me, Spitfire uh, symphonic stuff. But this up here is like Time Macro orchestral tools, and someone asked about the BBC Symphonic Orchestra. Of course, I saw that. Of course, I saw that. Very excited about that. Uh, the Spitfire thing. So I want to have a. Uh, Again, too loud on the dynamics. To just go like do 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 something like that. And a flute trill, which I might do in solo flute. I don't have an expression map loaded for that, which would be this trill. Yeah, I, I love doing, I love writing with woodwinds for, especially for soft stuff. Um, I mean, a lot of modern 
I'm just judging like based on what my friends say. A lot of my friends like they don't use <laughs> woodwinds because they write epic music and stuff. But I love it. Like uh, James Newton Howard is like probably my favorite composer of all time, and he just like the way he has those intricate woodwinds uh, just blending in um, to each other is that's so just delicious to me as uh, just as a listener as a composer I love that stuff plus I played saxophone so I I like that kind of stuff I I say the same thing even even my friends are like I don't need woodwinds I'm like get some fucking woodwinds man like <laughs> let's have some have them all play at the same time is is that's epic right there So I do want that kind of quiet, but maybe rising up a bit. But it doesn't end right, so I'm just going to see if this works. I don't know if it will work. Good enough. <laughs> for all that the bass clarinet can we go down there we go <laughs> Then go down the octave. Beautiful. Now. Big transition. You mean like the the something you want to add or is it the release of that like clarinet like how it the volume at, of the release is different um okay i want it, i want my strings i have no idea what that means <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. Oh, studs up, like uh, sliding and kicking him with your cleats, your spikes. Is that what? So satisfying. Yeah, I know what you mean. So I 
So let's move on to the action part. So we've got that swell. I'm going to have to mute it so it doesn't keep going. Auto saving. Mute. Forzo. And mute that. I don't want I don't like that. When I had the triplets, it did. So, this is also speed composing because we're doing this all with <laughs> within a very short period of time compared to how you would normally do it. So I love like little muted piano notes too. So now we're getting into our action part of our foresty. So you hear how that piano is a very rumbly, but maybe a little bit louder, but I want it still kind of muted. Like that. This is actually a felt piano, so I don't want it just like slamming you in the face yet. Adding harmonies is great like that. Repeat that piano note. And we need some sort of percussion. Whenever this swells up. Do you want a choir or a solo vocal? So what I'm going to do here is just have a timpani roll, which is a great way to transition. Of course, not that loud. What we're going to do is go back to what I... You said yes. I, <laughs> I asked this choir or a solo. So one or the other. Here how perfect that... Um, okay. And that swell just goes perfectly into the piano note. That, 
Dan, that was literally exactly what I was thinking, man. How did you know I had that? I think I used to have it just like right there. This is like the God of War choir. Hello everyone, if you're just joining. We're having a hell of a time composing. Orf style, like uh, O Fortuna, I believe. Yeah, um, we can do that as well. I think that will come in once that builds up a bit more. Yeah, this this is really evocative. It's like a deep throaty chant. I didn't even think about that, that it was unlisted. Because we start the stream early and like, usually we do tests and shit and it's just me like saying check, check. If you, if you go back and watch in the other streams, you'll see it. Um, I don't think, I, I just don't think, I th mean to put it as public before we go. I don't know where the hell to do it now. So we have a, yeah, they're adding some ridiculous time signatures. <laughs> and uh, I see the high solo vocal. I'm taking note of everything. I want even more strings like bolstering that. Just to give them a rhythm. I'll be honest, I'm probably not going to switch up the time signature and shit. <laughs> we have like a limited... I'm supposed to be doing this for an hour, but it's already been 45 minutes. I want these nice, crispy strings. Kind of rising up. Yeah. Resident. Who said my name? I'm confused. I was waiting for someone to say cowbell. Thank you. That is my name, Brian Freeland. I don't know who said my name. I'm confused. Oh, well. Oh, I see it. What's your name? I can't see it displayed anywhere. I want to check out more of your works. Uh, Brian Freeland. Ooh. 
actually my company is named be free productions if usually i don't since you asked but right now i'm brian audio plugin deals <laughs> Those trombones, I want them to be more subtle. They're too loud. I want them to be longer. So I like using arcs like this, and I absolutely thought of the horns next. I like using long swells like this. This goes back to what I said in episode one, dynamics. I know a lot of people know this, but I don't know about Hollywood choirs, to be honest. So this goes back to what I was saying about dynamics. Again, a lot of us know this. I'm using an arc articulation, but again, like it was a mistake I made when I started how just like using sustains and having either them going to full blast all the time. Like a lot of people, you know, we know how powerful Hans Zimmer's music is, but if you really listen to it, he uses a lot of swells. The real power comes from starting down a little bit. It's not always going like in your face. I'm using Cubase. So you want really crazy stuff go into like the 66 bases or 66 trombones that's like instant Hans Zimmer I'm not using I'm using my own expression maps Hello. Hello, D. So that's like massive. I have it coming in too early, I think. I'm going to continue this. Yeah, I'm just using expression maps that I set up, like just going in here and just clicking set up and just making them. And I want to add more harmonies to this. And then even more in the next measure. Yeah, well actually, we're going to bounce this down to audio and put it on the blog, the full finest final uh, track. And I am trying to reply to everyone, but I got it like, this is even harder than normal because I'm actually really using my brain instead of showcasing a product that I already know about. <laughs>
That sounds way too much like Dark Knight. I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care. <laughs> these bottom strings going longer. I want, I want that timpani to hit again too. So we have the big swell. That's why that wasn't long enough there. I want those string swells as well in the trombones Here I, I went up a half step there and it gives it a sense of uneasiness. Dissonance. So I want to, we got to make this thicker somehow. And I'm, what I'm going to do is take the horn line I just wrote and keep it the same, but put it in the cellos, maybe basses as well, all legato. Um, and then add the violins as well. I need 
this to harmonize. And I'm going to put this in the that I'll do violas. What I'm doing is just copying and pasting. I know everyone's workflow is different, so I might be just kind of like, you know, blazing through it, but. I'm just copying and pasting them all and transposing them up. All right. Now, I know we don't have much time, but what I'm doing is um, I'm lowering the dynamics of this, but what you really want to do is have it go up and down so it's not just steady the whole time and what I really like to do is actually like write harmonies so let me try that maybe do this really quietly and have it doing that So that's our build up and then I want to just have it go insane. That's where we can have a Brahm. We can turn into a rap beat. <laughs> um, let me have my, I want that same brass to come in. The big swell that I had. So, let's add some ear candy. What I want is some more hybrid stuff right now. This is just so easy to use. Yeah, I want. I was gonna add the timpani hits, and we also need to add like some big epic percussion, eventually. Okay, I want this to rise. I want it to rise and hit. Surprise, surprise. Nice. Not bad. I think it might be too long. No, it's good. Do, 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 I want a new preset. Nice. 
That's pretty intense. So I also want timpani hits on the beat. But not that. Yeah, more cowbell. Thanks. You're the you're the second person to say that, Hannah. Someone already beat you to it. You got the riser, like the air, air music. They do the synths and stuff. Yeah, this is um, the Spitfire timpani. But I don't want it doing just that. Yeah, sorry, Hannah. <laughs> just, you know, adding a little bit like that. And then once that big hit comes, I want to freaking do another roll. I hope that'll sound good. Just go up. Nice. Okay, I want this to kind of rise and fall. I'm doing this very simply. And then the last note, I want it to really... Not too much, but... Okay. I want the horn to get a bit epic, too. Make sure it's all legato. I want more swells. We can add some auto tune.
kind of ignoring the chat or else I would get nothing done. <laughs> oh my god. Talk talk amongst yourselves. I'm I'm kind of keeping an eye on it. I want more swells, that's what I said. I want a huge swell at the end. Huge. That's too deep. Yeah. Too much. I want to make it shorter. Do it only in that second half of the ending. I think that's still too loud. It's not swelly enough. Not swelly enough. Do I need to have it go even shorter? Yeah, I do. trumpet you say I'll be honest I don't know what that means <laughs> Okay, I want even a bigger, bigger riser. And this is where I want my symbol swell. And then bang longer now I want my Brahm now we'll make it to a rap beat what does swell mean it means to swell Jeez, Hannah. <laughs> yeah, um, means we're going for super swole mode. By the way, I know Hannah, so I swear I'm not just bullying a random person. <laughs> really, um, a swell is what is what I just did with the um, with the horns. Where it starts soft and it gets louder. All right. <laughs> so Hannah, you said more more cowbell. Is that it? Someone else said cowbell earlier, so we'll do a cowbell rap beat. I really want a Brahm. Someone said a Brahm earlier. Even if you were just joking, we're doing it. There you go.
No? What's no? No cowbell rap. Cowbell. <laughs> You know how it's funny, everyone... Oh, I'm doing a Brahm. We're doing a Brahm. You know how they even call this Inception Brahm? But the Brahm isn't even in Inception. It was in the trailer. But everyone's like, Inception, Inception. Watch the whole movie. There's brass. There ain't no Brahms. We're just going to glitch the hell out of it. Brom. So we have a riser. We have... We'll have a drop. Harp crescendo. Challenge put all... Of, okay. Get ready to... Blow your eardrums. <laughs> oh, well, you know, we're not here to please just you. No. <laughs> um, yeah, well, someone's, we need to make a beat for those people that don't even listen to orchestral music. <laughs> because I did think about that. We have a lot of producers and stuff who like APD as well. Um, what am I? I want a big ass drop. Not movement, substance. Why am I using this? Because I know <laughs> where it is. Um. You you know. What what? Who's me? And Terry, I was just kidding. You know, I lo I love you all. Um. That's not what I want. I want something like that. Boom. So it doesn't just go one to the other and there's a little bit of pause. This is a good lesson for those trailer music composers. Excuse me. Need more organ, that's a good idea. Organ. Cowbell, uh, <laughs> uh, organ, cowbell, um, rap beat. I love substance, man. Output stuff is some of my favorite virtual instruments ever. And why don't we use the new, the, the Stranger Things uh, stuff? <coughs> Banjo's tambourine. Good God, you guys. I knew this would happen. Let me open my notebook. Yeah, I love substance, man. Um, I'm taking notes. I don't know if I'll use these notes. Um, what else? Some of these I don't know what they are. Not these, but some of the suggestions you guys are making. Um... Then we go, brah. Isn't that funny? They just call it a damn, a brahm. They're like so not creative. I actually have a hurdy gurdy sample library. I hate it. It sounds like crap.
and then boom. Yeah. That one. <laughs> oh, stop auto scrolling. There we go. I'm going to add a shitload of reverb to that. Flute. Turn off my repeat thing. Yeah. Now I'm going to make it bigger. Yeah, it's just funny. Like, you know, clients ask me and they're like, they'll, they'll be like, I want that big, brassy, boomy, synthy thing. I'm like, a Brahm. They're like, what are you, are you kidding? That that's what it's officially called in Webster's dictionary. That's what it's called. Apparently. Um I want reverb. I should have a send for black hole. Just like Beautiful reverb. Okay. Then we'll transition to a new section and do your mandolin, banjo, cowbell, uh, flute, <laughs> uh, beat. I want battery. What what just happened to you? There we go. Accordion. God damn it. <laughs> this is going to be funny. Go full on velocity. Uh, for battery, this is all just like totally stock. <laughs> what bank are my Norwegian fiddle? Talk amongst yourselves. What, where are I literally have no hi hi <laughs> I literally have no hi hats. It's all 808s. Uh, there we go. I'm going back. I'm just doing. Duplicate. I duplicate tracks all the time. I've never made a beat with um, Cubase like this. I always use FL. So... I've used I haven't used Groove Agent either. I don't know if this is the end or just the beginning of the stream. 
But what we're doing is having a lot of fun, and um, right now we're making a banjo, mandolin, cowbell, rap, beat, uh, with maybe or maybe not Brahms, and um, I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm having too much fun, I don't, I'm just trying to find a hi-hat right now. Oh, it's on the black key. Add yodeling, okay. That's a bit too much. Auto saving. Auto tune yodeling. Yeah, let me warm up my pipes here. Yeah, no, can't do it. Yeah, I have a, a drum pad down here, but I was trying to find the bank for the hi hats, so I uh, just did a little. Did a little fiddling. Oh, stop it, Brom. Where's my... There we go. Get some popcorn. Cowbell swell. I do I even have a cowbell? I'm gonna be really boring and copy and paste it. Um, the riser, that's rise and hit. I believe you're talking about this. I've never played an adventure RPG with this kind of music in it either. And that's the fun. Why would I ever need a cow bell? Of course I have a cowbell. <laughs> it's, it's like no one makes a a, a cowbell library. It's going to be in, a, in one of my drums. I don't like that. Yeah, I'm just going to copy and paste that. And do something like this. Elyon 6. <laughs> Cowbell. I love Spitfire, but let's talk about for a minute how freaking over <laughs> over hyped they are i absolutely love them as a company they're probably my favorite sample library developers but jesus christ dude like all <laughs> all their videos are so pretentious and like the slow-mo and their swell like just imagine they do a cowbell and it's just like someone's it's just like a really close-up shot and they're just like dinging <laughs> the cowbell with like a a mallet or something and they're just like zooming in they're like the string swells in the background like the most deep sampled cowbell library london orchestral cowbell textures 
definitive version on December 1st. <laughs> Actually do impressions of uh, Christian Henson. No, I'm just kidding. They'll fucking, <laughs> they'll, excuse me, they'll hunt me down. <laughs> Wagner's cowbell. If they steal my idea, you guys heard it here first. There we go. Oh, forgot to double my bass, my kick. <laughs> They're going to sue us, guys. Man. <laughs> 144 players assembled from the best... Some people say London players are the best cowboy players in the world. <laughs> oh, they better not find this. We are dead. They rule the world. <laughs> God. <laughs> what is going on here? I'm just going to put like a loop in here. <laughs> I'm seriously going to like cry from laughter if you guys keep this up. <laughs> Christian Henson here, Spitfire Audio. And today, very excited, assembled a 200 cowbell library. I just want a little loop. <laughs> I just want a little loop. You have, ra <laughs> you have round cows. <laughs> 34 round cows per sample. Oh, I don't want that loop. I don't think that syncs to my tempo. Okay, <laughs> we need you to record us a sample. The real Winslet fan. Is is this a Titanic reference? Please tell me it is. <laughs> I completely forgot what I was doing. No, too much. I want a light. I want a light. I should do the elements. I 
I want a light high hat D high hatty element. What type of MIDI keyboard am I using? It's a Yamaha MX49. Hey, that's all right. It's okay. There we go. I maybe does that keep going? Eh. <laughs> now that sounds like a marching band. By the way, should we add a marching band now? Because I have a marching band sample library. Not even kidding. I don't like that. But I do want to. No, 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 no. Maybe that might work if I'm lowered. Are you saying yes to the marching band? Let me add my banjo first. <laughs> Guys, we're going to be sued. We are going to be sued. I actually have a mandolin. I have a real one. Someone said mandolin. We're gonna we're gonna record it. Well, I don't even have a banjo loaded up. I only have one banjo, I think. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> yes. No idea what I'm doing. Um, we're going to give away a cowbell. So who wants to rap on this? OK, 
Okay. We can do that. I gotta add the cowbell. There's 47 of you watching. And I gotta pee. I'm gonna have to end it. Unless you wanna hold on and just <laughs> sit here. Where's the... Right here. Where is it? Where is it? Where I see it right there. Where is it? It's auto-saving. Where, where? Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Cowbell is such a terrible instrument. It's like kind of tonal, but it it just it just is like hitting a hitting a cow pie, you know? It's like a muddy Terrible. Terribly beautiful. I have black hole reverb. I don't know what comet reverb is. Mandolin. I do have black hole in that, remember? It's muted. Or just that.
Can we all take a pee break? Yes. I'm going to play this for like, I'm just going to let this run and I'll be right back. Thank you for suggesting that. It's so unprofessional to just take a break, but yes, I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. Okay. You know what's really funny? I also really wanted to check on my dog <laughs> because she has the cone of shame around her neck right now. <laughs> and I heard her um, just making all this noise because she's freaking, she's just running into everything. <laughs> and, um,. She's run into everything up there. She's got this cone and she just runs into shit. Some idiots say cabal. That's not nice. That was the point though. We've come so far from the mysterious forest, but like... <laughs> that's, that's the point. Um, is I knew going in, it was going to be ridiculous. But, you know... It's the, it's, the, it's the fun of it. Yeah, the dog heard the track. It's, it still sounds like a mysterious forest to me. <laughs> We are not deleting that cowbell. I'm sorry. This isn't just about you, sir. <laughs> um. I'll show you what it looks like when the dog runs amok. This is what she looks like right now. Like that. That's what my dog looks like right now. It's lucky she's got a clear a clear cone. But uh so just imagine this thing running around into everything. She doesn't know she doesn't know her her conal girth yet so she's just bang 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 so I heard her banging around up there it's supposed to be an unbalanced song guys it's supposed to be a little ridiculous I mean come on so see some people say more cowbell 
somebody will say f the cowbell we've got to we've really got to come together here bridge the divide and just compromise <laughs> Just go sideways now, like detuned and dark. I'm going to move that rise and hit down here. And what should we just do like an epic darkness track glitch? What's the all? Um, how long has it taken to make these 20 bars? Two hours. Oh, the dog. That's what's all. Um, so the dog... She's just a bundle of... She's weird. She's my special pooch. And she's very um, erratic and stuff. And she has a scab that she... Kept chewing on her foot. And it kept bleeding everywhere. And so we... <laughs> me and my, we wrapped it up... Um, three times. Because every time she just chewed it off. And then continued to chew the thing. Tuvan throat singing. Can I do it? Of course I can, but you gotta pay for that. You gotta pay for that. Um. All right, man. Thanks for joining us in this clownish nonsense uh, vortex of fun tin whistle I don't think I have one of those either I don't I the mandolin sucked we'll mute the we'll mute the cowbell I want to change this to something someone said organ I just so happen to be playing not that one I want the epic The dog's name is Marley, and it's a girl. She does sound like Chewbacca, though. Oh, how soon will we be able to buy that? I don't know. I mean, I was in agreement with them to record that, and then we mucked it up by insulting them. Uh, Christian Henson will come after me. He's like, you ungrateful little shit. We would have given you everything. You spoiled the cowbell library. <laughs> oh, boy. Organ.
I would have bought it if Will Ferrell worked on it. All right, have fun, man. This is uh, my work for the day. I'll be honest, we're not doing any any giveaways. <laughs> I didn't want to tell anyone because then they'd just be like, peace out. But we're just having uh, some fun. I mean, I don't think we're doing giveaways. I just asked. I'm like, are we doing a giveaway? Maybe we are. Mute the rise. Have just the organ. No, we didn't say that. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God, Spitfire Audio emailed me. I'm not even kidding. Oh, it does say that in the mail. Okay. I know I'm reading, I'm reading it now. I swear no one told me about that. Okay, I got it. So it's just me in here now. No one's replying. I'm not even kidding. Spitfire Audio emailed me. Because I emailed them with a support issue. All right, okay, let's we'll do f uh, four giveaways in like ten seconds. <laughs> Spitfire sent me this. I'm not even kidding. Hi, Brian. Because I had an issue. I had an issue with Spitfire Woodwinds. Okay, so I guess we'll do a giveaway. No one is uh, replying to me about that. And they didn't tell me we were doing that. Not even kidding. Incontinence, huh? That's it. You're out of here. You're out of here. <sighs> we are giving away the recording of this amazing composition. Okay, guess a number. Go. You know the drill. We'll do a giveaway. Guess one number. Go. You guys wanted it. We're doing it. We're doing it right now. 
There you go. What's the prize? I guess it's a hundred. I swear to God, they did not tell me anything about a giveaway. So I guess the prize is what they said it was: a hundred bucks to audio plug-in deal shop. the The first I heard of it is when someone reminded me, and reading the email. Okay, stop. Can you can you see my screen on here? Someone guessed really close. Um stop typing. You can only type once. Um so the winner is Jim Stamper cuz I just typed over here. 645 and he gets 644 that's why I was like can you see my screen I know partly but like yeah, you can't see it that well don't bullshit <laughs> um oh I'm sorry sorry about that oh yeah it's Jim Jim Stamper. Uh, where'd you go? <laughs> yeah, that was ridiculous. Congratulations, sir. I guess we're just going to raffle. We're just going to. Yeah, so, um. Email that uh, that address. Yeah, you got really lucky, man. Um, okay, go again. Just go. We'll do it again. This is supposed to. This live stream is supposed to last an hour. <laughs> um and. Yeah, just keep them coming. We'll do. We'll just run them off, and then we'll do two at the very end. This is why I had to pee. It's um, gridlock. It's probably the cheapest energy drink you can get. It's from a uh, little grocery store called Aldi's. Uh, it's a dollar, dollar for a whole energy drink. <laughs> okay. Yo, Clapman. Clap, 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 clap domain. <laughs> you can only type uh, one number. We are so disorganized today. Yes, the original German cheap shop. Um... I'm an Aldi's man. What can I say? Um, no, it's actually zero calories. It's all good, man. Today, no, I don't have any idea what any of us are doing today. Okay, that number was 386. So, we have um, uh, 354, 361, uh, 361. 
But you typed more than one. You cheated. You can't do it. I can't. Okay, take the first one. That was 598. <laughs> um Yeah, I think that would be Ch Chad Lambert, the 357. Unless there was like one in the 400s that was closer, but I don't think so. Cuz so it's like 43. Yeah, I think Chad Lambert. The number was um 386 over here. Boom. So. What's wow? So you had the email up there. Um, so yeah, you won. And we'll d we, of course, will do two more. Again, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I had no idea. Because this one came about kind of uh, randomly. And yeah, so... Um, let's look. People asked me this last time what I liked in the shop. Obviously, some of you might have something already in mind. But I'll just tell you some that I love in the shop. Oh, we have that Bode Guitar Clouds right now. I really like... Oh, someone asked about that. I didn't realize that's what you're asking about. I really like the EQ. The Sonables. There we go. Sonable Smart EQ 2. Even if you have an EQ, I love that one. I love Smart Comp. The Cluster Kit's really good for, like, um, drums. And then, the, like, the the Ubershaw stuff. Some of, some of you, I don't know if you like that. Because um, it's, like, phrase-based. But my number one thing I would get in the shop, if you don't have it, is the um, the Smart EQ 2. I love that. Back to this BS. Yeah, I saw someone. Was that you that commented on the the video about that? I saw someone comment, but I didn't notice that. It's a subliminal message.
Did you win? No. But, well, uh, I don't know. We, we we didn't. We just did our two giveaways. We have two more. All right. How should we end this um, gigantic piece of crap that we've come up with? It started so good. It's beautiful. Then it just takes a right turn. It's it's beautiful. We're gonna have the most epic ending in the world. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Of course, we're going to have our riser come back the end. We're going to, oh my god. We're going to have everything just come back and <laughs> take a giant dump. I need those swell some earlier these I want these I want these and I think it ends okay it ends right there <laughs> yes we need a moo haha uh -huh. which I don't have Well, that's too long. That is long. I want these. They're already long. The sh trumpets can be short, but I want them loud. I want a timpani roll, which is here.
kind of like that, just the basses and the cellos lingering there. We can also make that like super. Yeah, I, I don't, I just, as far as I know, that happens every time I do as well. Um, because like, yeah, of course, it's what I'm here for. <laughs> um, yeah, so God, I don't know how to say your, I'm not even going to try comp. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to get rid of that, but again, I've only been using Cubase like three or four months. I want the strings to come up, I think. What is this? That's why you label things. Oh, that's the, the deep choir. I want that huge brass swell again what's back here to come up here and I think to end it we'll just have um, a little click a little click a little cowbell click my damn cowbell so I say we have a big drop and then uh, maybe one of those uh, little cowbell clicks just to, just to make everyone's just to make everyone's ears bleed. Yep. It's the best thing I've ever heard in my life. KU. I hear the dog again. I hear the audio plug-in pooch up there. Okay, we're done with this giant smorgasbord of uh, fun. Let's do our last giveaways. Oh, big reverb on the cowbell. Okay, okay. I see. <laughs> you know, you can actually make that sound really cool if you do something like, uh, let's sense. Insert. Oh, while I'm doing this, new giveaway. While I'm messing with our MF cowbell. So this is in a lesson how you can make anything sound cool. Someone, someone asked about the yeah. What? 
that didn't do anything. Okay. Can't believe this go this went on for so long. I do not have portal. Okay, stop the thing. See, I shouldn't have gone on this long. Now I'm, I'm getting, uh, people are messing me like, are you dead? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, the number was 175 this time. And we got 180. Jesus, you won again. You won again. Dan. This is unacceptable. So there's the number. And then we're going to do one more. Because Dan has won again. Dan's won like 87,000 times. Um, are you from Back to the Future? Are you Marty McFly? You know who to email. I don't even need to tell you to email. Yeah, I know um I know I know about uh Wait, was it you that said portal? No, Dan has won um multiple weeks. He didn't win last time, I don't think, but I think this is the fourth, maybe third time. Um, so hold on. I got to text someone. She's like, why are you ignoring me? Um, okay, let's do the last one. And then... We'll play back our wonderful track. <laughs> yeah, third time for Dan. I'm typing this one so small that there's no possible way anyone can see it. Okay, we're going to do the final one. The final, there should be a cap, I know. What in God's name? doesn't go that low. All right, stop. I think I saw <laughs> Yeah, I did. Uh, I kind of gave it away cuz I saw one that was so close. I was like I was like Jesus Christ or something. Ma uh, Matthias was 912. This is 915. Which really sucks for 
sharp cut, which was 910. <laughs> you know the drill. Yeah, so that was uh, Matthias. Yeah. You're cleaning us out. <laughs> so let's listen to our track, which started out so good and then went so bad, but so fun. Um, why are you gi are you giving this away to Dolphudians? I feel like an evil, uh, something sitting here like this. I'm scheming. I think my dog's about to go crazy. Uh, someone's about to come home. So, I gotta go. I stayed too long anyway. But yeah, I'm gonna put this up on the blog uh, in all its horrific beauty. But I I did absolutely was going to finish uh, the fantasy part and just flesh that out. Because I did. I really liked that part. Um, until we had to go F it up. No, um, so that that was the fun of this whole thing. Uh, <laughs> someone's about to be home, though. I can hear the dogs uh, about to go crazy. So, remember, you can go back and watch this. Uh, we'll probably do this again uh, now, that, now that we've done it once. And I had no idea what I was doing. I don't think anyone really did. But, you know, that's, that's the fun. We're going to post this uh, thing up there. And, you know, if... I probably will finish just the first part, the first orchestral part. So that was that. That was an orchestral fantasy RPG cowboy banjo rap um, cowbell uh, with organ. So, and we gave Spitfire Audio a lot of ideas for their next um, sample library as well. So, I will see you guys next time. Oh, and remember, uh, this Friday, our final, not final, our next episode of Video Game Music is coming out. So, all the comments you guys had on episode one will be answered on there. And also, just keep commenting. If you go to the other videos, you haven't seen them yet, just comment. And if you've seen me, I've answered literally every single question. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Stay tuned for the next episode and stay tuned for the wonderful blog article which will feature this composition that everyone here helped create. Had a lot of fun today. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care.